Hi everyone, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, uh, I'm going to do a comparison review between the Inkbook Prime here on the left and the Inkbook Classic 2 here on the right. So uh, these are two new recently released e-readers. Um, I'm going to be posting full reviews of them here soon and in the next week. Uh, but for this video, I'm just going to sort of outline the similarities and the differences between these two e-readers. Uh, they got a lot of the same features and uh, the Inkbook Classic is more of the entry-level version. The Inkbook Prime is more of the upper-level version. It has a front light. Um, the screen is basically the main difference between these two. So the Inkbook Classic, it has the indented screen. It has a capacitive touch screen. It's got the 800 by 600 resolution screen. Uh, it's got four page buttons, two on each side of the screen, and the back button right here. So uh, they both have the same software, like I said, Android 4.2.2. And it's just uh, some of these subtle uh, hardware differences that uh, separate these two e-readers from each other. So the uh, Inkbook Prime it has the upgraded 1024 by 768 resolution screen. Uh, so it's got a little bit more uh, pixel density. And it's also got that flush glass screen. Um, so it's like uh, all on the same surface. And then it also means it has a sensor here instead of the uh, physical button like on the Classic. But it has the same uh, side buttons for page turning on the left and right of the screen. And the buttons can be uh, programmed on both of these e-readers to do a bunch of different other tasks as well. Uh, in the settings menu, I'll show that a little bit later. So, so the biggest difference between these two e-readers is the screen and the front light. The Inkbook Prime has a front light built in, so you get better contrast and you get it. Uh, you can read it in like more wide range of lighting conditions. Uh, whereas the Inkbook Classic, it doesn't have a front light, so it's got the more paper-like look to it. Uh, and then obviously you get more of a white background when you have the front light and it's just more of a gray background when you don't have a front light. So then from the uh, settings menu, you can uh, adjust the brightness of the front light. Um, there's this dial right here in increments down to 5% up to 100%. The lighting is very even on the Inkbook Prime. I do like it. I think it is worth the extra expense because it makes it more useful. So as far as hardware, the Prime has some advantages. It has 8 gigabytes of internal storage space, and the uh, Classic has 4. They both have memory card slots. The uh, Prime also has a faster processor, a quad-core 1.6 processor. The uh, Classic has a dual-core processor. Um, but I don't really see a whole lot of difference between the uh, speed between the two. If you get them both going at the same time, the uh, speeds of turning eBooks is pretty much the exact same, but... Um, it does have an advantage when it comes to PDFs. Um, it seems to uh, be able to turn pages faster on the Prime with the faster processor. So let's go ahead and load up a PDF here. So yeah, once you get the page turns going on the PDFs, you can tell that Think for Prime is definitely going at a faster clip than the Classic. But for the most part, I mean, the speed between the two is very similar. I mean... Navigating the menus is almost exactly the same, and ebooks is pretty much exactly the same. So most Android e-readers are pretty sluggish, but both of these two are actually quite zippy going between the menus and going between the page turns. So just like with that PDF there, that was that was pretty quick for turning pages with PDFs. Usually a lot of e-readers, especially Kobo's, they'll bog down a lot when you uh, start to turn pages fastly in a PDF, but they actually work pretty well with these devices. So the Inkbook Prime, it has the higher resolution screen, so uh, text is a little bit sharper on it, but it, there's really not that big of a difference between them two. I mean, it does look quite good on the Inkbook Classic as well. The size of the text renders slightly different, I guess, because of the resolution. Um, these are the same text with the same size, but they're not quite exactly the same. Um, and then like menus are as well, they're a little bit smaller on the Classic. Everything's just a little bit smaller on the Classic than it is on the Inkbook Prime, which is kind of strange. Usually it's the opposite. But uh, so other uh, difference between these two over here is they, um, the Inkbook Prime has Bluetooth. Um, it shows it over there on the Inkbook Classic, but it actually doesn't have Bluetooth. It's disabled. So the Prime has Bluetooth, so you can use like Bluetooth speakers and headphones. Uh, and you can even pl plug in a Bluetooth keyboard if you wanted to do some typing. So like I was saying earlier, the software on these two devices is basically identical. You got the same kind of features. Um, so if you go into settings here, like I was talking about earlier, you can map the uh, buttons to do different things, which is a pretty cool feature actually. So like some apps need the volume buttons to turn pages, so you got the option to do that. And then there are some additional options on here as well, like you can uh, disable the touch screen, 
you can have one of the buttons disable the touchscreen so you can avoid accidental presses if you just want to use the page buttons you got these other options here refresh screen display menu so you got some different options that you can map to the four page buttons which is pretty cool because you don't get that option very often on e-readers and it is helpful to have your own customizations so both run Android 4.2.2, but uh, they don't come with Google Play or anything like that install apps. There is a built-in app store that you can use, but it mostly has like ebook apps and stuff like that. Uh, oh yeah, so another minor difference between these two um, is the Inkbook Prime. It has a magnet for the uh, sleep cover. So if you have a sleep cover for it, it'll automatically turn the screen on and off, and the Inkbook Classic does not have that option, it seems. All right, so to kind of summarize, again, the main difference is the screen is what separates these two the most i mean the inkbook classic has the lower resolution screen then the inkbook prime it has the higher resolution screen with the front light so you got the uh you know more ways to read you can read at night easier without having to have a lamp and stuff like that so uh, i'm a big fan of the front lights i do think they are worth extra expense because it's really not that much more uh, than the inkbook classic but it all just sort of comes down to your personal preferences so i'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review right here like I said, check out the ebookreader.com for some additional information. I'll be posting full reviews of these guys. I'll get in-depth with the software. Uh, I don't want to focus on that for this review because I just wanted to talk about the similarities and differences between these two. Uh, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe if you like these videos and check back soon for the main, uh, the full reviews of each of these.